Hello and welcome back to Advanced Data Analysis. This is presentation for part one, our last presentation for this course. In the previous presentation, I talked about and showed you uh, ways to graph descriptive statistics. Uh, in this final presentation, we're going to look at a couple of inferential statistical tools that you might find useful in your work. Now, remember that inferential statistics takes a look at the two, is, high, two highest levels in the hierarchy of data, interval and or ratio data. When we're looking at inferential statistics, we're looking at relationship between variables. Uh, now, if we only have two groups, we could use a simple t-test, which is the same as a one-way ANOVA. But for this course, we're looking at chi-square and just plain ANOVA. Now, chi-square is a way to test the strength of association between qualitative or categorical variables. We want to see if there's a difference between two or more samples of a population. For example, uh, there might be uh, a case where uh, girls are analyzed to see how they respond to certain treatment, uh, academic treatment, for example. And maybe we find out that those that the two samples of girls have something different about them. And then we can look into see what are those differences. The data on chi-square is in the form of frequency. And we do have some restrictions on chi-square. First of all, we must have an n, a number of observations must exceed a total of 20. And each cell that we're looking at in a chi-square must have uh, a frequency greater than 5. And we want to make sure that the groups that we're comparing are fairly similar in number. Now, ANOVA, on the other hand, is used to, to look at the uh, effects, uh, main effects, interaction effects of independent variables on a dependent variable. For example, uh, we might take a look at the gender and, and a reading treatment, or, for example, a, uh, a pill for the common cold. And how do the different uh, groups, uh, do men and women react differently? We can look at one-way ANOVAs that, that compare a single dependent variable among two, three, or four groups. Uh, for example, we're looking at how students uh, respond to a reading treatment. We might compare seventh graders, eighth graders, and ninth graders. We might also take a look at an experimental and a control group. That's what ANOVA does as well. Or we could get more complicated and look at a multivariate ANOVA where we have more than one independent variable. Uh, but for the purposes of this course, we're not going to get that complicated. Now, when we run an ANOVA, we might find out that we end up with a significant result. If we have a p-value of less than 0.05, uh, we find out that there is something going on in the ANOVA. And if we have three groups, we want to know where those differences actually lie if we have three or more groups. So when we end up with a significant f-test, which is a significant ANOVA, uh, then we can run a post hoc comparison. And I'm using Tukey's uh, for the purposes of this class. So if we take a look at uh, this ANOVA, we see that we ended up with a significant, uh, statistically significant ANOVA in the area of group. We have a significant F test for group. But we don't know where that, those differences are. So we run a post hoc, and we ended up with four, we had four groups in this ANOVA. And we found out that 
that there were two comparisons that were significant. Group one versus group two and group one versus group four. There's the significance factors for those, figures for those right here. We also know that uh, that that would show up again when you compare two versus one or four versus one. There was also a significant ANOVA, uh, I mean a significant uh, post hoc difference between four and three. So like if we're comparing uh, uh, three things and we, use, and we ended up with a significant ANOVA, uh, we want to find out using post hoc comparisons, is there a difference between A and B? A and C, or B and C. And if there's more than three groups, then we do more than three comparisons. Well, uh, this is the end of uh, this presentation and the last presentation of this course.